today I'm going to show you how to make a cereal bowl, a three-dimensional th cereal bowl in Adobe Illustrator, and then put it into Photoshop. And uh, you can put some cereal in it. All right, I'll show you how to make some cereal too. So let's get started. So I'm going to create a new document in Illustrator, just make a letter size document. And Illustrator has some excellent 3D tools. They're kind of basic, but they can do a lot for you. Okay, for example, if I take a simple shape, I'm going to make a copy of that. And what am I going to do? I'm going to rotate it. I'm just going to rotate it 90. And I'm just going to use the align tool to uh, line that up horizontally and vertically. Then I'll use my shape pathfinder combine or unite button to make it one object. I'm going to take the uh, black stroke off of it so it's just got a white fill and I'm going to just use the 3D extrude, extrude and bevel I should say, to uh, just show you how that works. So extrude and bevel shows you this window. You can rotate your shape on different axes. If you grab any one of these sides, it kind of rotates freely. It can be useful. I kind of like grabbing a uh, one axis at a time and rotating it. It gives me a little more control. Okay, uh, you can change things like the extrude depth. Okay, and this is an effect. So you'll see it listed here under the appearance, and you can go back in and change things about it. Uh, if you click more options, you'll see you can also change a whole bunch of different things here. You can change where the light's coming from, all kinds of good stuff. Okay. Uh, you can also remove that effect. If I hit the trash can, the effect is gone. Okay. So that's extrude and bevel. Revolve is another option. And basically what it's going to do is take your object and revolve it spin it 360 degrees. Uh, though you could do less than 360. You could do, it's kind of hard to hit this, but you could do a 90 or a 180. You get the idea. It's like a cross section. And once again, you can rotate and change where the lighting is coming from, all that good stuff. Light. Well, I'm going to delete this shape, and I'm going to make cereal bowl. So I'm simply going to make what would I would consider half of a cross section of a cereal bowl. So for example, this is going to be the bottom. It's going to curve up. It's going to have a little bit of a lip to keep the milk from spilling out right there. Something like that. So I'm not going to close the shape. I could. It doesn't really matter at this point. Uh, but I'm going to use that same 3D effect, Revolve. Okay. You'll notice that that doesn't look like a cereal bowl. Okay. I'm going to change the offset from the left edge to the right edge. And now that looks more like a cereal bowl. Okay. Uh, offset, basically, if you put a value in here, there's going to be a hole in the middle of your bowl. So for example, it's moving it 10 pixels. Okay, the bigger I make the value here, the bigger the hole is going to be. It's going to make the whole bowl bigger with a bigger hole. Okay, so obviously we don't want a hole in the bowl. And um, like I said before, you can rotate the bowl here. You can change where the lighting is coming from. You can also change the number of blend steps. Okay, you know, feel free to mess around with all of this stuff, see what it does. Blend steps has to do with how smooth the shading is. So if I do 75 blend steps, it's going to be smoother shading. And I could also change the, the shading color. I could do like a custom shading color. 
though I typically change the color in Photoshop. I'm just going to go with black shader. Okay. So you can also change intensity of light, all kinds of stuff. Okay. So now that I've got this cereal bowl, I'm going to copy this. So I'm just going to select it, Command C. I'm going to go to Photoshop. And I'll just set up a new document. Go with my old letter size, oh, it's switched up on me, there's letter, letter size document, uh, I'm going to change my background color, just to start off, and then I'm going to paste, okay, when you paste something from Illustrator, it's going to ask you what kind of paste you want to do, so you can paste it as a smart object, pixels, path, or a shape layer, I'm going to keep things simple and just do pixels, okay, and there's my cereal bowl. Now, for some reason, there we are. Let me move this over a little bit, y'all, so we can see what we're doing. I had this on another screen before. All right. So I've got my bowl placed there, and I could change lighting on this. With my layers panel, I could do things like a color overlay, layer effect. Um, I could try different blending modes for that, see how it looks. I kind of like the soft light look. Okay. Um, I'm going to duplicate this for uh, putting cereal into this. But I'm going to do that once I get the cereal made in, in here. So. Back in Illustrator, I'm gonna make a, I'm gonna make like a Cheerio looking piece of cereal, cause that's simple. Okay, so I just made a circle, it's white. I'm gonna use the same 3D effect, 3D revolve. And you'll notice it looks like a little donut right off the bat. This time, though, I am going to change the offset so that there's a bigger hole in the middle. I'm going to do, I don't know, what does 15 look like? Eh, what does 20 look like? I don't know. It's hard to see how big the hole is. Eh, that's not bad. All right. And I'm going to go with that. Let me decrease the highlight intensity. I don't see much change. Okay. Ooh, that's a little nicer. Less, a little less light intensity. Okay. Um, one other thing. I can add some texture here in Illustrator. So I'm gonna to go to the effect menu, and you'll notice on the bottom of the effects menu has Photoshop effects. And I'm gonna to go to texture, and you can try some of these different ones. Uh, Texturizer combines a bunch of these different ones, so it's kind of a good one to go to. And you'll see you can scale the texture, you can try different styles. So there's burlap, there's canvas, sandstone um, more relief which means like deeper nooks and crannies um, brick no not brick I kinda like the burlap look okay now I'm going to duplicate this. Whoa, that's not what I'm going to do. I'm going to do that. Whoa. All right. So I'm going to option drag to make another copy. And on this copy, I'm going to just switch up the revolve. No. Okay, so it's not showing that there. Let me get 
my appearance panel. Let's see if it'll let me do it. All right. So if I open my appearance panel, you'll see this object has a 3D revolve and a texturizer applied to it. So if I click the 3D revolve, it should let me rotate. Okay. And I'm just going to keep doing this, this with a few different copies. looks weird with that thing right there. I don't know what that is, but it doesn't really matter. So I'm going to use these back in my Photoshop document. So I'm going to select them. I'm going to copy them. Command C. Back into Photoshop. I'm going to paste. I'm going to paste them as pixels. See how it goes. All right. Scale them a little bit. Okay, and I'm going to make more copies of them. So I can press Command J to do that, or I can hold Option and drag them. Either way works. Now I may also want to move the ones further back down in the Layers panel. Okay. And I'm not going to worry about putting stuff in front of the edge of the bowl right now because I'm going to, I'm actually going to flip these. So I'm just making a mess of cereal here. Okay, got a bunch of layers. I'm going to group all of those layers and name it cereal. I'm going to name this bowl front and bowl back. What I'm going to do with the bowl front is I'm going to mask so that when I, actually I'm going to move it above the cereal like that and I'm going to make a selection and I'm just going to use the elliptical marquee to do this and I want to basically have what's inside of the bowl showing. So I'll use the ellipse tool. Ah, let me do that. Do it this way, actually. I'll select the bottom of this. You know, I basically want this front edge of the bowl. Okay. So I've got that ellipse. I'm going to hold Option to, to subtract another ellipse from it and fit it to the inside of the bowl. Um, space bar to move it. <clears throat> I'm holding option to keep it in subtract. Man, it's a little tricky. I know I can do it. Something like that. So one other thing, if you want to transform a selection, no, I'm a little bit off here. You can go to the select menu and choose transform selection. So you could rotate. Uh, you could squish if you need to, all kinds of stuff. Okay, I'm gonna hit return. Is it close enough? We'll see. Um, so I think I put my bowl into the group and I wanna move it above the group. Yeah, okay. And then I'm gonna select that layer and I'm gonna click the mask tool. And look, the cereal magically appears, okay? Because what I've done 
is I've blocked out this whole upper part of that bowl that's in front of it. And it looks like the cereal's in it now. Okay. Um, other things I can do, I can add a layer effect to this cereal group. So I could do a color overlay and make it some kind of cereal-ish color. And this blending mode is not going to work. Too dark. Meh, too dark. Mm, too dark. Way too dark. Um, I can lower the opacity. Maybe this color is just too dark. Not like an overlay. But I'm going to guess that you'd be able to find one that you like. All right. And that's all I got. Cereal in a bowl, folks. Or maybe little donuts. I'm not sure what they are. But you get the idea. Thanks for watching.